number nine. Okay. We need to find the potential difference across this resistor. Okay, so I will use, um, um, I will again use um, uh, Kirchhoff's rules uh, to solve this problem. I will first identify all the cars. This is I1, this is I2, this is I3. Okay, I will um, write, um, the, I will define the potential difference across each element of this uh, circuit. So across the load, it is opposite to the direction of the current, this direction of the current, the potential difference is opposite to that. Um, so following the same rule, I will be able to define um, the potential difference uh, or its, its direction across um, each of the loads um, for the 8 ohm resistor, for the 5 ohm resistor. All right, so the next point is that uh, the potential difference, its direction uh, across the battery is from negative to positive terminal as shown over here. Uh, so then I will identify two loops, the loop A and the loop B over here. Okay, the nodule tells me that the incoming currents are uh, equal to the outgoing currents. So there is only one incoming current, uh, current and there are two outgoing currents. Yep, one incoming, two outgoing. Next, the loop rule. So let me start from the loop no, uh, A. So I will start uh, going around the circle. So let me start from this resistor. So the direction of the potential difference is the same as the as the same as how I go around the loop, and therefore it gives me positive contribution in the six ohms times the current, and this current is I three. Next, I go through this resistor. It gives me eight with a positive sign. It gives me eight ohms times I three. Um, next, I go through this battery, and the potential difference uh, is opposite to the direction of how I go uh, around this loop, and therefore it gives me negative contribution, and I don't need even to write uh, the uh, voltage loop rule for for B because I see already that from this equation I will be able to find I3, the current through the resistor with 8 ohms. And it will be sufficient to solve the problem as we will see uh, in a little bit. Okay, so I will, I will solve this for I3. Okay, substitute everything I know. I, um, I know at, I know the, the EMF, I know each resistance, so I did the math and I obtained the current I3. But now the potential difference across this resistor, well, we know how to find this uh, using uh, Ohm's law, it's the current, well, actually this is the current 3, right? Is this current, it's the current times the resistance, the resistance we know, it's 8 ohms, the current we found, it's 1.3. 43 and this will be the final answer.